Hello, 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 and welcome to another cast of How I Lost It. Our contributor today is our dear friend Aga. And Aga has actually been doing phenomenally well in the last couple of months. And so hats off to him to go ahead and put in that effort and become one of the best players in South Asia. And uh, he's very graciously uh, said, look, look at my game and tell me how I lost it. And uh, let's go ahead and try and figure out what that game is going to be. So today's game is actually going to be with Aga and uh, playing on the top left against Evil Midget. Evil Midget is uh, Protoss um, and on the bottom left is Nerd King, also known as Aga. So let's just jump into the match and see what's happening. At the start, uh, we won't really... I'm going to run it at faster um, so that we can go and really jump into the critical parts and actually sit and analyze the game. Um, so pretty standard openings, uh, nothing really out of the ordinary. And uh, ZVTs normally tend to be between 15 and 20 minutes. So that's the first thing we really want to go ahead and talk about. Uh, as soon as you jump into a map uh, such as this, in your head, if you're playing the same level, I've normally seen even at um, bronze, le oh not bronze, maybe gold, maybe diamond, maybe master, um, you do see a two base play, maximum a three base play. Uh, you're getting to three base plays, uh, if you're getting into three base games, you are going to be in master or grandmaster, okay? So, assuming that to be true, uh, you are looking at uh, between 15 to a 20 minute game. And that's what should be in your head. So, your attacks will probably be around 8 minutes, and the next one be about 12 to 14 and then you're literally in the end game okay so uh, owing to the map you see a standard expand coming and we are pretty okay at this level so uh, this is saturation started because this is this was expanded further and I like always stopping at about five minutes so we'll do a five minute count uh, and check what's really happening okay stop five minutes First, we will look at what our dear uh, Evil Midget sees. Evil Midget's got, let's see what he has. Evil Midget's got one Zealot. One. Okay? And he's got 25 probes and one Zealot. Okay? 25 and one. Don't you forget that. On the other hand, uh, Nerd King or Aga has 20 SCVs and two Marines. And why does that happen? The reason it happens is there is literally no scouting here. Uh, he has gone to a one base expand, but he's not seen anything. He doesn't even know there is an expansion here. It's five minutes into the game, and yeah, that I would actually call that out as a really late um, scout. At five minutes, you shouldn't really be doing, uh, doing that. You should know if someone is droning up or SCVing up or probing up or Hmm, probing up sounds corny, but uh, getting back onto the t uh, track, you should know what's going on, right? So coming back, let's go ahead and jump in and see which is there. So now he sees what's happened. It's a pretty standard build. It's 21 versus 27, 22, and there goes the mules, and they should start actually making certain differences right now. While that is happening on the back of it, the chrono boost is... Uh, coming in, there's a sentry which has been warped out, and there was a slight push at the start, and obviously this this will hold well. And Alga's style of play, you have to remember, is always uh, I, the way you play, and we've seen it is st strong defensive terrain, right? So let's see if you can go the strong defensive way because uh, Evil Midget's going to be standing outside and literally waiting for you to make mistakes. So let's see what's going to happen. Um, you are droning up fairly well. We will stop it at about 8 minutes 30, okay? Uh, map controls pretty much sitting all with Evil Midget. Uh, but that's that's fine. You are, you are tanking up. You are racking up uh, sufficiently fast enough. We will stop at about... And here comes the test push. And uh, here's an exploitation, but this is not really an exploit. You know that. This is not an exploit. He really can't do anything. He will keep on dropping and reinforcing here. And this is a huge play. Pause. 
nine minutes I'm gonna wait for it there you go it's nine minutes what happens uh, at nine minutes this is this a delayed for gate yeah, not really but let's call it out as what it is it is a sufficiently delayed for gate uh, but let's look at no upgrades what are you attacking with evil midget four zealots five stalkers and seven sentries with 14 marines and six marauders what do you think is going to happen and you pretty much level this up right what do you think is going to happen um, bunkers firing bunkers not firing but will probably start firing soon uh, good defensive line and what are these guys here they are being pulled they'll be pulled so that you can go and uh, defense this up okay so let's go ahead and see what's going to happen so the front gates gonna be held pretty easily right uh, you did lose one bunker but that's that's okay right um, and if we watch Lagan or not Lagan what was that I forgot the name of the movie uh, oh you're letting him through you're letting him through and that's gonna be fine you can hold this like any given Sunday right so this is not really a bad thing you're, you're, you're fine you're literally fine uh, guys go back home guys go back home you're wasting time you're wasting money good guy good so that's that's sufficiently held in my in my head right so you would go and say this is okay fairly okay and uh, we will pause here 10 minutes 15 seconds the first attacks happen we call this mid game and let's look at what's happening in uh, mid game worker supply 56 versus 45 uh, and that was because on the back of this when you were building this he was uh, actually uh, ramping up the workers and that's a 11 worker difference army supply 32 versus 38 you have definitely a stronger rail right what are you building you're building what's your production you're building well the two marines coming up or a marauder coming up your medivac and Alga plays a great medivac game so good that's going well um, fairly even I would say so let's look at what's actually going to happen in the mid game scouting factory going pretty well you are expanding on the back of that a good 10 minute mark so that's definitely okay um, pause one more time probably yeah let's pause let's look at what you know now this is you you now know there is an expand that you looked at but what's the build this guy is doing make a guess make a random guess what is he's building I would say you have no idea right but if you'd done this, you would have seen double upgrades coming in. Look at the gates. You already know this is a huge gateway army. He's already given his uh, hand up, right? He is going gateway, 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 gateway. He will go and punish you, right? So how do you know you're going to do this? Uh, yeah, well, you go ahead and build an anti-gateway army. Um, anti-gateway army, good marauders good marines uh, some tanks maybe okay let's see what you will do um, in this game um, and mid game started everyone's healing up pretty well you were building more medivacs uh, one one it started here you've built it you've built your armory are you doing any upgrades where are your upgrades barracks more barracks more barracks did you build anything? Yeah, you build this and you are waiting for the upgrade to come and you're pushing it out sufficiently in advance um, and you go ahead and see. And you see Archons, right? Zealot Archons. Should you have engaged? I'm going to pause that. Pause. And yeah, wait. And let's go ahead and look at what you... I'm going to slow it down for everyone. You're engaging against a superior curve on a ramp with archons and charge slots. You'll get shredded alive. Now's the time to get out. Now's the time to get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out now. 
You can do it. You can do it. And you didn't get out. Okay. He's and you know he's coming. You know he's coming because here you go. Okay. Pause. He's coming. What are you doing in the back of this? You are. You've got one bunker which you can utilize, and let's see what you're going to do. Get in the bunker. Get in the bunker. You did get in the bunker, right? But you're going to melt. Murder. Massacre. Right, so you've you've lost this game. You've got two command centers floating around one twenty seven to sixty three, you're getting murdered here. Uh can't expand here, you're stuck here. And he walks back. He's not playing with you. You know that he's playing with you, right? So I'm just gonna just like run really fast. He's on three base. Four, one, two, three, four base. He, everything's good. He's just going to be. Let's look at an army. Uh, 81, 42, 84, 69. He's got. He's playing. Okay, I will run this uh, because we said we will check this out. Right, but uh, you will take that out. And you'll probably take that out because you want to expand really fast right now. Yeah. Right, and here we go. 200, 200 army. 12, 20 minutes into the game. The game was already finished, right? So, and here he comes. We're going to slow the sound so that everyone can see. I like to do my little march. Ta 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 da dum ta da dum. You can never hold this. This is gonna go here. But you know this. You know this, and you're. It's you're trying to micro challenge right now. There you go. Everything's gonna get shredded alive by the colossi. Everyone's dead. But I'm gonna go back right now to the part I think you lost the game, which is here. Did you lose it here? No, I think you lost the game. Not here. I think you lost the game about here. I'm going to just call it as soon as I get there, which is uh, pause. Pause. You've seen charge lots with archons. What don't you do against charge lots with archons? You don't have a gateway army just rushing through headlong into it, especially not on a ramp. Let's see what you do. Come on, you're going to do this. One, stem, gateway shield gone down, this. You see this? You lost these guys already. You will try and tank them. Perfect. Get out of there now. Literally get out of there. You're still 102 versus 145. You're fine. You just lost a match, uh, lost a battle, but not the war. You already loaded up half your guys here in the medivac, and that's where you lost it. That's what my call is. Uh, you, I think you played really well till this point. Um, you didn't scout at the first part, so case in point being here, no, actually, but here you have no vision of whatever is happening. Uh, first call, second call, 12 minutes, where you, maybe 13, maybe 14. Yeah, 14, you've lost the game because he's just attacked you. Cool. So that's what I think actually happened. No scouting and engaged at the wrong time and did not pull back. If I have to go ahead and put something down, I'd say you lost it because of scouting. 
you did not know what your enemy was doing. He droned up faster than you. He went charge lot uh, and uh, Archon. You had no idea that was coming against you. Your counter gain against that was Bio. That's not really a great counter. Uh, mech would have been far, far better because uh, much less splash, splash damage. You would have seen it if you'd seen something coming, uh, which there was no scouting. So there you have it. I actually think that you lost because of scouting. Uh, send me your replays. I think this is extremely fun. I keep on asking for great replays. Thank you, Alga, for sending one across. I love you. And uh, I will see you guys next time.